Today, let's study how to determine the sex of a pelvis or just a hip bone if we don't have two hip bones to compare. So, I'll teach five points to differentiate the male and the female pelvis or to identify the sex of an individual by looking at just a single pelvis without a comparison. The first point is look at the subcubic angle. This angle between the two inferior pubic ramus and this pubic symphysis, okay. So, this angle is called the subcubic angle. You can keep two fingers like this and look at the angle. If the angle is around 60 degree, it is male pelvis. If the angle is almost up to 90 degree, it is female pelvis. Now, coming to the second identification feature. You can see this is actually the sciatic notch, the greater sciatic notch. You can see the angle formed between these two limbs of the sciatic notch. If it is 70 degree or more, it is actually the female pelvis. Okay, if it is 70 degree or more, it can be female pelvis. So, the most of the male pelvis will have an angle which will be around 50 degrees. Okay, so this is the greater sciatic notch angle which will be around 50 degree for male and almost up to 70 degree in case of females. Now coming to the third identification feature, you can see the maximum diameter of, you can take the maximum diameter of this acetabulum, okay this is the acetabulum, take the maximum diameter of the acetabulum and you compare it with the length of the, length of the superior pubic ramus, okay. So, you can see this is the length of the superior pubic ramus. You compare it with the maximum diameter of the acetabulum. So, the length of the superior pubic ramus will be longer when compared to that of the maximum diameter of the acetabulum in case of females because the acetabulum is actually smaller. Okay, acetabulum is actually smaller in females. That's why the diameter, the maximum diameter of the acetabulum is comparatively smaller when compared to that of the length of the superior pubic ramus, okay, superior pubic ramus. This, so, this is the length of the superior pubic ramus compared to the diameter of the acetabulum. So, this is obviously larger, okay, acetabulum, the acetabulum is smaller when compared to that of the length of the superior pubic ramus, hence it is a female pelvis. Here we have a male pelvis, we can see the maximum diameter of the acetabulum compared with, compared with the superior pubic ramus, it is almost equal, okay, it is almost equal, you can see it is almost equal in case of males, that is the next difference. The next difference is the kilotic line, if you see the kilotic line, it is extending from one iliopubic eminence, we can see this is the iliopubic eminence, extending from the iliopubic eminence up to the inferior part of the auricular area. You can see this is actually the inferior part of the auricular area and the second component is extending from here up to the iliac crest, up to the iliac crest. Now, we can have two, we can compare it into two parts, okay. One is the pelvic part, other one is the sacral part. As you see here, the sacral part is larger when compared to that of the pelvic part in case of male, okay. The sacral part is more, more when compared to that of the or larger or longer when compared to that of the pelvic part in case of males. This is a female pelvis and this is a kilotic line in the female pelvis which is extending up to the auricular part and from here to the iliac crest, okay. So, now we can see the pelvic part, the pelvic part is longer when compared to that of the sacral part in case of females, okay. The pelvic part is longer when compared to that of the sacral part in case of females. So, this line is called the kilotic line. Then the last feature about the sacral vertebrae. If you see the sacral vertebrae, the first sacral vertebrae, okay, this is actually the superior aspect of first sacral vertebrae. See the diameter or the width of the body, width of the body of the sacrum is almost equivalent to that of the width of the ala, so almost equivalent to that of the width of the ala in case of females. But in case of males, 
the width of the body of the first sacral vertebrae is longer when compared to that of the ala okay compared to that of the length of the ala okay so these are all the five important difference which helps you to identify a male or a female pelvis if you are having a single hip bone or single pelvis in your hand okay thank you